look at two different ways in which we can duplicate shapes when we're working with them in Photoshop. So the first way is using the, the Move tool and really that works like any other layer. So I don't have anything selected here so if I just turn on Auto Select it's going to select the layer I click on. If I hold down the Alt key now and drag down it's going to create a brand new layer from all those four circles that I have. So now for instance if I wanted to align those I can select those layers in my Layers panel and I can now use uh, for instance the distribute option and it will distribute uh, those shapes and I can also align them to the center uh, they already look aligned to me we can also see on this layer here that we've got like a, an extra I'm just gonna select only this layer an extra circle I'll just delete that and now you can see on this layer we've got these four circles and I've jumped to the selection tool, the path selection tool and here when I hold down the alt key and duplicate it's going to duplicate just that path so basically I can't select anything on other layers that I don't have selected um, I can only select that layer that I have highlighted in my layers panel here so if I hold down the alt key I can duplicate that if I hold down shift I can select all of these and I can use the align options up here for the path to distribute those and align them and I'm working just purely on those paths. So if I change the color or have one of these selected and change the color fill for one of these shapes it's going to change everything on that layer. So that works very differently to something like Illustrator where you can change instantly the color of individual objects. These paths exist on a single layer. So if we grab our ellipse tool, I'm just going to draw out another shape here. You can see that when I draw out another shape it's creating it on a new layer okay and that is um, this option up here to create a new layer when we draw a new shape so we can change the options when we're drawing either to draw on a new layer or to combine with an existing shape so if I change it to this option this is when I can now come to my paths they're both on the same layer and if I use my path selection tool I can select these and now I can subtract my front shape here and it's going to subtract uh, from the image uh, in the background there so I'm just gonna I had them both selected so I'm just gonna subtract only that one front shape and now you can see I'm working with the, the Pathfinder in Photoshop to kind of subtract out uh, this shape from my background image so the paths in Photoshop work a little differently to Illustrator um, and it's really important to kind of note the differences when you're working with the path selection tool and the move tool and also your layer selections when you're actually moving around and selecting or duplicating different layers in Adobe Photoshop. So if you have any questions about working with the path selection tool then just do leave a comment below um, otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.